Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, we're gonna pull out the old forsaken grinder mixer. It's a hammer mill, give to me by my preacher. Gonna pull it out here. I'm gonna get to grinding some corn. We're just gonna crack it. And we're gonna make some cow feed to fatten the steer. Let's do it. All right, Frank, we got to grease this puppy up. It's going to take all day to do that. No, it won't. And they got to go. You ain't got to go nowhere. They got to go. I got work to do. I got work to do like this. You ain't got to go nowhere. Yeah, I do. Find the grease fittings, Frank. We got to grease this baby up. Ain't been used for three years. <laughs> I gotta go help Caleb find Look here, them. there's a fitting right you, here. You got him, son. You got it. How come you ain't showing me now? I see two from right here. I see three. Are you supposed to be helping me, son? I am helping. You I'm... see three? Where? Show mm -hmm. me. You don't even see one. See three. You got right there? Yeah. After I put it on. Then man, one. you killing me, son. <laughs> after I put it on. Yeah, right there. Of course, right there. One right there. Where? Right there. That ain't a grease fitting. <laughs> Folks, this guy's driving me cuckoo. -coo. This guy don't know the difference between a grease fitting and an Allen wrench. Yeah. Uh, where was you raised, son? In a barn? Yeah. This grease don't want to go in. Uh. Oh, yeah, it's going. That's good. These old machines, son, they don't run good without grease, son. You know that, son? Yeah, no. We can find that other range. You're supposed to say, yeah, I know, son. There's one right out there on that one. Yeah, but ain't a more hero. Anything that turns is good to have grease, son. Ain't that right, son? You got it, son. <laughs> All right, we've got the machine greased up, and now I've got these. These are 50-pound bags. They hold 50 pounds of corn. I'm just going to toss them up in there, and I'm going to crawl up there, and I'm going to get my corn and hand it out over. There's a place here to get it out from underneath, but it has to go into like a big old pot or whatever. They've been using it, but uh, then I got to put it in the bags and I'd rather just do it in there. I think it'll go quicker.
this is a 30 horse tractor. I don't know what this is rated for, but a lot more than 30. So we can't just cram 50 gallons at a time in it. I'm going to jump up here and crank it up, get it going and see what happens. Now, I want to engage this with the seat up. That way it'll run good, but I don't want it slamming into it. I want to get on the clutch and ease into it slow.
done to my trough, son? How am I supposed to feed you like that? What a bullheaded thing to do. How am I supposed to feed you guys? Mercy, you good? You ain't good, you big dingleberry. I'm looking forward to the day that he's hanging up, I tell you. Right now, I look forward to it. Keep y'all separated this time. I, I see what you think. You think you're going to run him out? No, you ain't going to run him out. Meanie. Go ahead and run him out. I'll give him more over here. Over that silage, I'm gonna put each one of them a scoop of this good ground fresh corn steak maker. See how they like that. I'm gonna start them out on a gallon a piece each day or morning and evening. I wanna bump them up, bump them up, bump them up till they're eating 50 pounds a day. That would be suit me fine. But you gotta be careful, their livers can't handle that too good. I gotta get tender lean. They didn't have tenderloin at the co-op. They just had the steak maker, and I don't think it protects their liver. So let's get over here and get, give them this. All right, here you go. Don't let Bonehead have it, okay? Keep Bonehead away from it. You've seen on yesterday's video how spooky they were, and they kept running off. Today, Big Barrel Baby is right up here eating. And uh, bonehead there, he's eating. So they got a taste for it. In just a week or so, they'll run you over for this stuff. Right now they're still just a little leery, but I mean, I'm talking loud and they're still eating. They don't like it, they wish I'd leave, but hey, I wish they wouldn't knock the trough over. So that's how we're gonna fatten up these beefs. The bull is Ferdinand. He's got a spot on his head. Looks like he banged into something so hard that he hurt his head my goodness probably this thing be honest with you he probably hit this thing with his head so hard that he broke the skin he's got some pus coming out there it looks like or fat or something he's such a meathead i'm gonna put a 40 cal right through that bony head and we're gonna hang him up here in about two or three months but this one's going first so we're gonna fatten him up I want to, I haven't done a lot of beef butchering videos for y'all and I've had one of y'all say they don't think we ever do it, which I've got at least two or three in the channel back in my meat section. I've got several playlists that's got them in there. But anyway, you like to see stuff up to date and fresh and real and that's what we're going to bring you. We just have to get them finished off first. But that's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.